Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the wonderful world of Savoy, where we just finished our first war with the Ottomans. Not only did we take his capital, Constantinople, we also fleshed out our vassal, Bosnia. And all we have to do is get relations up and annex his dumbass. You would think giving him back... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We gave him 9 provinces in the peace deal. You would think that would improve relations. Nope. He gives no fucks. Not a single fuck was given that day. That's okay, though. So this episode is probably going to be relaxing for a little bit. Uh, that war was fun. We built up a giant navy. And I think it's time for our navy to get back to work. Because we have these trade ships that are doing fuck all. Uh, we built a whole... What did we build? Like 120 ships for that war? I mean, we're way over our naval limit. Uh, next tech... Where are we? Yeah, next tech, we're going to be able to build the dry dock, which increases naval force limit by four. This will replace the, not shipyard, the dock. It'll replace the dock, which increases naval limit by two. So we're going to get a lot more uh, naval force limit once we build a whole bunch of dry docks everywhere. So I'm going to save up some cash. Uh, we can lower the funding on the army now. I'm going to save up maybe four or 5,000 ducats. We're going to build as many of those dry docks as we can as soon as tech 24 comes our way. Oh man, Italy, Italia strunk, Italia strunk. We're going to create a client state over here. Uh, this is all considered Europe. It's Europe all the way until like Syria, really. I don't know why Anatolia is considered Europe. It just is. Uh, but since it is considered Europe, we can make a client state over there. No problem. Oh, someone died. Well, that's just too bad. Prestige. Ooh, inflation reduction. Yes, please. Thank you for the inflation reduction. Oh, Portugal. Oh, Portugal. You poor boy. I mean, he's allied to Spain. He thinks he's strong. Oh, is this another Moroccan invasion of Spain? It sure is. Morocco has invaded Spain again. I still can't set Morocco as a rival. My choices are the Netherlands, Britain, the Common Derp, and Brandenburg. I mean, at this point, it looks like the Netherlands is the best choice. His allies are shit. So I guess I rival him. I get humiliation off of him. Let's do that. I don't have a CB on him, though. I don't need a CB, I guess. Hmm. CBs are for plebs. Um, and since his allies are so bad, we can probably just declare war and let our vassals do some work. Although that's not true. Our vassals are very, very small these days. Like Oldenburg's got four provinces. Oh yeah, when can we start beating up uh, for your... Oh, we can do that with the Netherlands. Yeah, Netherlands has two of your cores and you have some claims on them too. And Brunswick has a core. All right, so that's what we'll do. We'll come up here and we'll feed our vassal Oldenburg. That is what we'll do. Oh man, our ships are back. Let's take the trade ships out. You guys have some work to do. I believe we're focused on the Sevilla node, although we might want to start working on some of the other trade nodes in the area because the Sevilla node is pretty heavily controlled. Even without any ships there, we have 74% of the trade. So perhaps what we should do is focus our ships elsewhere. Perhaps Ragusa or Tunisia. Although Tunisia doesn't really have many ducats flowing through it. That's the thing. It's like there's not a whole lot of ducats coming through here. We could do Bordeaux. Although it looks like we've already got most of the Bordeaux node. We could try for the... Let's go try for the English Channel. You want to do that? Let's try collecting on the English Channel. Well, I don't know. 82 ships might not really do much. Yeah, I don't think 82 ships going to do very much because Britain already has 60. Yeah, it's not going to do much. That'd be fun, though, but it's not going to do much. Uh, we could try Constantinople, maybe, and push to Venice. We could try that. Let's try that. Let's try stealing trade from Constantinople. There you go. Because we do collect in Venice. We're collecting um, 17 ducats in Venice. It's not bad. Yeah, we dismantled the empire. We allied all of the electors, and then we declared war for the emperor and uh, sieged his capital and dismantled the empire. That's all you have to do. 
You don't have to siege down the electors, all you have to do is ally them, which seems really gamey and stupid, but it works. All right, how are we doing? Our troops need to split up a bit. There we go. We'll get some troops up there in the north and get ready to beat the fuck up out of the um, out of the Dutch. Also, I should eat some land over here. I can't walk back and forth between all my land, and that's really annoying. So either we eat Burgundy, Liège, or Luxembourg. Any of them are fine. Uh, Liège, your allies are too big. Burgundy, your allies are garbage. That works, except we have a marriage. So we need to wait for our king to die. Our emperor, I should say. He's 71, so that's fine. As soon as our emperor dies, we'll go fabricate on Burgundy, declare war, eat his face, and that'll give us access to the Netherlands, which we can then go to war, humiliate, and give land to my vassal. Perfect. Perfecto. I just need to have a way to walk up there, that's all. Damn it, Britain. Damn it, Britain. So many chances for you to get my dynasty, and it never happened. It never happened. Replace the merch, the uh, mercenaries. You mean, not the, not the merc, not the merchants. Uh, we did replace the mercenaries somewhat recently. We can get some new ones eventually, but I think at the moment we're okay. Yay! What do you know? I was talking about waiting for our king to die, and he just died. So let's pull back from Scandiderpia, and we'll fabricate on Burgundy. I want your land. Wait, how does that... Was that his marrying me? What? That was supposed to be my marrying him. No. This is not okay. I thought it was my marrying him. Well, crap. Bosnia, Croatia, Britain, Burgundy, Oldenburg, Nassau. Apparently, Burgundy's marriage was his marrying me. Oh, man. Oh, man. But he is 67, so he'll die soon enough. He's actually got my dynasty somehow. Wait, what's my dynasty? Savoy. Savoy. Really? We have different dynasties? S-A-V-O-I-E versus... S-A-V-O-I-A. -A. Really? I thought that we had the same dynasty, but it's off by one letter. All right. Anyway, fabricate. Fabricate, fabricate. Ooh, ah, ooh, oh, ooh, ah, ah, fabricate. Take the marriage. Ooh, ah, ooh, oh. Oh, am I going to get your dynasty now? Tell me I'm getting your dynasty. Yes. If I die, if I die today, I get Britain's dynasty. I love it. Do it. Do it now. We can go through Britain right now. Uh, that's true. That's true, but... I mean, he's 67. He's gonna die. Right? Let's see. Piss off France? Sure. I'm willing to piss off France. And besides, if we lose our alliance with Britain, then we won't be able to walk through them anyway. So for future, I do want to have some connection over here. I need to eat Liège, Luxembourg. Oh, probably just those two is fine. So he'll die soon enough. Nice, though, that when our king died... When our emperor died, not king, emperor. When our emperor died, we're down to only six out of five relations, and we're gonna get an, we're gonna get rid of another one of those, well, as soon as possible over here. 
Need to toss him a marriage. I'm surprised they haven't... Oh, someone died? Someone died. Darn. Better relations. That sounds good. Keep saving those ducats. Buckets of ducats. How are we doing on the Constantinople node? Oh, 64% of the node. We get 328 strength from our navy. It's a pretty good fleet. Pretty good trade fleet. Where's the exiled troop alert? Um, apparently my vassal had troops down in the Mamluks lands. Good point. I didn't even notice they were there. Good eyes. Bring them home. You can go to... I don't care. That army. Spain will cede Murcia, Cordoba, and JN to Morocco. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at Morocco go. Rename Constantinople after our late emperor. Oh, shit. What happened? Britain has declared war on Scandinavia, who is allied to Commonwealth and Austria. Britain has just declared war on the Commonwealth, Austria, and Scandinavia. And he's going to call me into that war. I'm going to tell him to fuck off. You serious? Alright, so I need to declare on Burgundy right now so that Britain won't call us into his shitty war. As long as I'm in a war, he won't call me into his shitty war. Oh, but I can't because I still have a marriage. Uh, damn it. Oh, I can declare on Liege. His allies... Oh, he's allied to Britain. Never mind. Hmm. Who else? Cologne. Doesn't really work for me. That doesn't really work. It's not what I want. I guess I just declare on Netherlands and we'll go through Britain for now. Let's do that. Fund the army. Wow. Oh, reinforcements. Oh, we're still regrouping our troops. Okay. No problem. Don't you dare call me into your war, Britain. Oh, Austria is the defender of the reformed faith, and he's going to join against me. Uh, I guess I could co-belligerent Austria? Since Britain's going to be fighting Spain, I could focus on Austria. I mean, Britain's going to be fighting Scandinavia, I could focus on Austria. That's an interesting option. Huh. Because I do want to go to war with Austria. It's just a matter of when. I mean, we still have claims. Yeah, we still have claims. We're good to go in that direction. Uh, we lost our core on Alsace, but whatever. Oh my god. Scandinavia is... Look at his allies. He's allied to Brandenburg, the Commonwealth, and Austria. He's allied to the three major powers here in Central and, and Eastern Europe. So Britain has just declared war on all of that shit. It's amazing. Uh, he's not going to win the war because he has no idea how to land troops. Oh, it's a defensive war? Oh, Britain was called into a defensive war. I see. That is interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. 
Hmm. Not sure if that changes anything. Probably not. I still need to get to war sooner rather than later. Lose 800 ducats or lose stability. Are we still way ahead on tech? Yeah, I'll just lose the stability. Get it back. No problem. Now hopefully we'll get Britain's dynasty here. I really want the Tudor dynasty. Because I can declare for that dynasty. That would be so nice. And Scandinavia wants an alliance. Ooh. Except that we uh, are allied to each other's rivals. That's a problem. Alright, keep getting relations up with Bosnia. I'm taking attrition here? Oh, for fuck's sake, Austria is standing a billion troops on my face. Because, just give me attrition. I love attrition. Thank you, Austria. Fuck off, dude. <laughs> why does the AI do that? I never understand why the AI does that. Just, oh yeah, let's have a billion attrition today. Everyone likes attrition. Okay, November of this year, I can click the button to annex Bosnia. Very good. And then we can get started on feeding Croatia up here in Austria's lands. I should probably fabricate one more time on Gors. So that'll give us uh, the ability to walk down here. Yep. Okay, there's another claim. Another claim on Austria, please. Gores, thank you. Build forts in France. I'm gonna wait until the next tech level because we're getting the final level of fort, level four forts at the next tech level. So I don't want to, I don't want to do them just yet. Savoyard Particularist, where are these guys? Uh, Cosenza, Maine, Anjo, Bari, Paris, Orléans, Alenson, Separatists. Those are the places that I lowered the um, autonomy. And it's becoming a problem now because I have these uncored lands over here. Hmm. I kind of want to build a client state, but we could just core these places. They're just, they're just... Look how cheap that is. Oh my god. Uh, being... Uh, being Italy and having administrative uh, idea group and having administrative efficiency gives us really, really cheap core. Wow. That's so nice. Wow. S Scandinavia just casually... Look at this. When he rolls a general and he gets 11 pips total, he gets no movement and no siege. He gets a 5-6 super general. When I roll a general with 11 pips, it's like all maneuver. Jerk AI. Being a jerk. Stupid lucky nation bonuses. Jerk. If we do a client state, it's just another relationship. I think we're just going to core it. We have so many admin points. We're just going to core it. I hate to do that because I really wanted a client state down there. But this will get rid of our revolt risk. Entirely.
Russia wants an alliance. That's adorable. Alright, almost time. Just need to give him a gift. In two months. And then we can annex. Yes, yes, truces are over with some nations. Whatever. Don't care. Don't care. Alright, come on back. Give a gift. Start the annexation. Move on. May 9th. Alright. Oh, and we just coming back from Austria as well. So we have our claims... One, two. We have four claims on Austria. We could go eat Venice. He's got uh, no allies, really. Why don't we go eat Venice in the meantime? Suck, douchebag. Oh, because I can't start the annexation course. Uh, is there anything else I want to fabricate on? Uh, fabricate over here, maybe? Fabricate on the rest of Liege. Fabricate on Luxembourg. Uh, fabricate on Luxembourg. That looks good. Nice developed province. 29 development, not bad. Alright, start the annexation, and then we can uh, go eat Venice, and then we can go beat up Austria a little bit. There we go. Okay, Bosnia, <laughs> you are not long for the world, dude. Royda, thanks for subbing, man. Welcome abroad. Yeah, Bosnia didn't live very long, did they? We release them, and don't cry. As a Protestant state. Have they converted everything? Yeah, look at that. They already converted all of the land to Protestant. That was really quick. That was real quick. Gosh, it's going to be really tough to convert Constantinople. We're going to have to build a, a um, cathedral there. To get plus three conversion strength. Oh, we have a baby, Eugenio, and he is perfectly average. In fact, his claim is average, too. All right, we're going to turn him into a general and try to kill him. Because that is just not acceptable. An average baby with average claim? Nope. Nope. Fuck that. Still three years ahead on tech. Eh, I'll hold off. Try not to jump the gun whenever possible. Ottomans have finished their westernization. Well, screw you, Ottomans. I am genuinely terrified. Where's your capital these days? Ankara? Nope. Konya? Nope. Where's your capital? I guess I'll click on your nation and click on your flag. There it is. Hudavendigar. All right. Whatever. It's an important center of trade. I guess that makes sense. All right. Let's look at... Scandinavia is two generals because they're both three stars. So there's oh oh, so there's the one we saw already. He's a five six zero zero, and here's his other general because this is this is the generals that you get if you if uh, if the AI is Sweden, five six zero zero and five six zero one. I mean, what kind of bullshit is this? What was he doing? Just sitting there, new general, 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 until he finally gets a five six zero zero. And then he gets another thousand military points, and he just does new general, new, new general, until he gets a five six zero one. And he's like, "Okay, that'll do." I mean, come on, that's nuts. There's no reason for that. They already have enough bonuses by getting huge, huge perks for being Sweden. They don't need these super generals too. It's not necessary.
really unfortunate we're not able to get um, we're not able to get the dynasties that we need and nobody's nobody's dying in the right times it's all just been blech, garbage all right time to eat Venice you guys have no allies which is perfect uh, I'm gonna eat your face so go die you die now do I have a general over here yep Squish. Squish, please. Yeah. Many squish. And this general has no siege. Oh, he does have two siege pips. Alright, I'll take the other army out. Oh god, negative 70 progress. What level fort is it? It's a level 7 fort. Wow. That is a big fort. That's going to take some time to siege. But I guess what we can do is go blockade it. Oh, goodness. What's going on? Shlomo says, blood money. Why is this blood money? Ask Derp Chat. Huh? Huh? I have no idea what's going on. Twitch chat is crazy. Don't know. I have six ships doing nothing. Oh, those must have been uh, Leon's navy. Cool. Take the, tra take the transports out. You guys can go dock up. Uh, you guys can also dock up. And the trade ships can do some trading. There we go. Yeah, that is a big fort. So let's take the non-cannons out. And I'm just going to fill, fill it with cannons. And just hope we don't get rebel spawns, because that would be bad. Oh, large revolt. Constantinople and Languedoc. Oh, fuck off, game. Oh, come on. I don't have time for this shit. Ugh. All right. Languedoc and Constantinople. Languedoc. Get down there. Kill the Navy. Goodbye, Navy. Dock up. Get on the boat. Constance Durbel, here I come. I mean, we're making progress. That's a lot of cannons. How many cannons? 29 cannons. Uh, we're getting plus 5 on the siege, which is the max. 15 artillery is the max bonus here. Uh, but we do need to blockade it, so once we're done dropping off the troops, we'll come back and blockade. Hopefully we get there before the rebels spawn. We may not. But we almost have a core, so I don't want them to siege it down. There we go. Go ahead. Spawn. Spawn. See if I care. That's right. Y'all some dead motherfuckers. There you go. Back on the boat. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And the cores continue. All right, what do I want to do now? I've got claims on these three prov these four provinces, I think. No, just those three. That's fine. Um, do I want this one as well? Eh, we can get it later. Why don't we get relations up with our vassal? And we're out of time for this episode. It's very unfortunate. Because it's going to take some time to siege Venice, and you guys will have to wait till next time to see it. So thanks for watching, everyone. I've been Shen. You've been you. Come back next time for further ventures in the lands of Italy. I'll see you then. Have a good day.